Hi, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for June. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Gemini, for the month of June is the Three of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the Three of Swords energy. The Three of Swords typically is talking about you know, pain, trauma, third-party situations, people cheating, lying, not being honest. Uh, this doesn't always have to be about cheating and, and being, you know, people not being honest. This could just be about something here that really hurts you on a very deep level. We're gonna clarify this. We're gonna get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Seven of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the Empress. So I feel like in the recent past, there was new love that came into your life with the Ace of Cups. And this new love that came into your life, I do feel it was very much connected to maybe you know, this person not being honest, deception, lies, you know, being sneaky. At one point in the past here, Gemini, you felt like you and this person really were gonna build something amazing and great, you know, with the Empress here. It's like, <laughs> I wanna nurture you, you wanna nurture me. Um, very motherly energy, beautiful motherly energy here in the past of caring, but it looks like something here flipped in the past, and we're gonna talk more about that for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, Gemini, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords, and you have the King of Cups. So I feel like you're at odds with someone right now, okay? You've turned your back on this person, they've turned their back on you. And there's a bit of this separating energy in the present moment. I do feel like you and this person are trying to work things out uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. This can also be connected to your work. Okay, we're gonna find out more about this for you when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the near future, Gemini, you have the Five of Swords, the High Priestess, and you have the Six of Pentacles. So it looks like in the near future for you with the High Priestess here, there's definitely something here about uh, your intuition, listening to your intuition, and really determining whether or not a specific person that you are working with, collaborating with, or being with is someone that you still want to be generous with and, and give to. Um, I do see a power struggle here in the near future because you and this person maybe have a difference of opinions. Uh, so that you know may be something that you need to be aware of. We're gonna talk more about that and clarify and get more information in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of cups in reverse. Something here isn't satisfying you anymore. Um, this can be very much connected to you going back to someone from the past or going back to something here that doesn't satisfy you. And it definitely is connected to a relationship, okay? And if this is a new relationship, um, I'm just gonna throw this out there. You know, again, it may resonate with you, it may not, but a lot of you have to realize that even if you start something new, which is what you did in the past, if you have unfinished business or you have unresolved issues with someone from your past past, I'm not saying the recent past, but I'm saying the past past, um, and you haven't really resolved those issues, it ends up cropping up in new relationships. And this is what I've talked about many times on the channel. Um, I'm starting to sound like a broken record, um, but you know, there's new subscribers all the time. So you know, I'm going to, I'm going to obviously reiterate myself. So, um, so what I want to say to you is, is that your reading has what I'm intuitively getting is it has a lot to do with a lot of you redoing something over or learning a lesson over again here, um, which is very much connected to love. Okay. And we're going to talk more about that as we get into your reading. So let's get into it. Let's do some clarification. Let's see what's going on for you. The message for you, by the way, is the lessons, the, pe the people change, but the lessons stay the same. So even if you end up disconnecting from somebody from the past, like an ex, and you say, oh, I, you know, I want new love, I want new love to come in, if you didn't learn the lesson with the past person, your ex, you're gonna learn it with the new person. That's, that's the message for you ultimately, okay? So a lot of you may think, oh, I'm just gonna move on with someone new, but the lesson stays the same even if the person changes. That's why when I say to you, someone's coming back from the past, I mean, a, a, a lesson is coming back from the past, not the actual physical person, okay? Love is, love is full of disguises, okay? So just keep that in mind. 
Some of you need to hear that, okay? So let's talk about your challenge. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Yep. This is your challenge. Three of Swords. Need I say more? The Six of Cups is the Six of Cups is very much connected to your past. Um, so your challenge to Three of Swords is clarified by the Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. So your biggest challenge here, Gemini, has a lot to do with you still holding on to a past memory from the past, and this is very traumatic, um, or was very traumatic for you. Something happened in the past. There could have been cheating, lying, deception, dishonesty. Um, and your biggest challenge now is the fact that it's cropping up again. It's happening again. A lot of you, this is happening with a new love or it's happening, you know, with someone around you, but either way, there's something very traumatic that happened to you that you didn't properly release or let go of. Okay. And when I talk about releasing or letting go of things, there's a number of things that you can do spiritually to let go of things. Okay. There's, you know, the burning bowls that you can do. You can do a cleanse. You can do a meditation. You can do a moon ritual. You can do, you know, eclipse ri ritual. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. Of course, you need to find find an expert, someone who is a practitioner who does stuff like that. Now I do stuff like that, but I'm not offering those services right now. Um, but I may offer them in the future. So you're going to want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that when I do announce those that, you know, you're ready to, uh, to, to, to take advantage of that. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with remembering and recognizing what traumatic situation from your past, you never really let go of or resolved. Okay. And when I say let go of resolved, I mean, resolving it with someone from the past, instead of running and being with someone new, um, choosing to rush into a new relationship, assuming that, you know, if you move, move on with someone new, that the lesson is not going to be there anymore. And this is, this is the issue, right. That comes up with a lot of people. And it's just, it just so happens to be, um, you know, with you. So what's happening right now, astrologically for you, you have Jupiter in your 12th house. If you're a rising Gemini, you have Jupiter in the 12th house with uh, Taurus there. So there's something here that's, that's starting to illuminate. That's starting to become very prominent. That's connected to the past and the 12th house uh, in astrology is connected to our past. It's connected to where we came from before we entered into our mother's womb. So this is how it works. So your challenge here is to identify what has been holding you back through the pain that you've been experiencing because this pain that you've been experiencing, it keeps coming up. It's, it, it's there again. It's, it's not something that you can run away from. Okay. Even though you try to run away from it, you can't, there's something here that you need to face head on. And that's going to be a big part of your challenge in June, because as the sun crosses over and, and by the way, it's your birthday month. So whether your birthday has already happened or, you know, it's in the process of happening, um, we're not quite into, into June yet. So I think some of you, your birthday's, um, coming up. So this has a lot to do with recognizing what pain, what trauma, uh, you need to release and how you can go about releasing that. And like I said, there's a number of different, different ways. If you don't want to, you know, get a practitioner to do that for you, you can look online, you can do the research yourself and, and do that online. And that's the cheaper way to, to go about doing it. Right. So your biggest challenge here is to release some sort of pain from your past instead of running into new, new, uh, relationships or new situations only to find yourself having to repeat the same lesson again. Okay. And that's going to be a big part of your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify this new love. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups in the recent past for Gemini. You have the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Strength. Yes, so you gave love a second chance here in the past. Um, a lot of you decided to get involved with someone here new in the recent past, but it did lead to some sort of power struggle here. Uh, you may have told yourself here in the past, Gemini, and some of you are going to watch this and say, you know what, this reading doesn't resonate with me. That's fine. You know, some you may watch this and you may say it doesn't resonate with you because you don't want to confront. You don't want to confront the trauma and the pain. And this is again, about running away from trauma and pain. And what ended up happening here in the past, I'm going to be really honest with you. You all know, I don't sugarcoat. I don't have time for that. You know, if you don't like me, then 
whatever. Um, but you know, in the recent past, somebody here wanted to have a new beginning with you and you gave this person a chance. And it looks like in the recent past, there was power struggles that started. There could have been a third party situation where there was a conflict between you and this person, even though it felt like you and this person in the past with the Empress, you were ready to grow and build with this person in the past. And guess what started to creep in the deception, the lies, the dishonesty here in the past. Okay. With the seven of swords, tell me more about the seven of swords in the recent past for Gemini. Why is it here? What do they need to know? There was a lot of lies, deception, dishonesty here. Somebody here was not being honest. Yeah. Four of wands, knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Somebody here was taking their time because in the background they were planning things maybe that weren't honest. They were planning things that were only in their benefit. And again, a lot of you experienced this trauma in the past in a relationship. Okay. Um, so that's what I see happened here in the past, not the greatest news, but that's what I see happened in the past. Now in the present moment, you are at odds with someone. Okay. It could be a water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting a Capricorn here. Sun, moon, or rising could also be another air sign. Tell me what the important message is here for Gemini in the present moment when it comes to this uh, situation that they're involved in. You have the magician, you have the page of wands, you have the ace of swords. You need to get really honest with yourself. Okay. Really honest with yourself. And that's what a lot of you are doing right now. Uh, I feel like you're manifesting, moving into a brand new direction. Of, and of course, because your birthday is coming up, a lot of you feel that you feel like, okay, now it's time for me to move on. It's time to, you know, for me to move forward. Uh, you're moving into a new direction. You're moving into a new direction, especially with the magician. You're manifesting something here. Tell me more about the King of Cups in the present moment. Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Yeah. So in the present moment, this person, there's a conflict, okay? You're in a conflict with this person about an opportunity here, about success. The reason why there's a conflict right now when it comes to you and this person collaborating or working together is because you may have one idea of how you want things to go, and this other person has another idea of the way they want things to go. And I'm just going to put this out there, Gemini. This person, this water sign that you're dealing with, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they're all about success. They're all about wanting to be in the limelight. They're all about wanting to be recognized for something. And you may get this sense here that maybe that's all this person cares about. Maybe this person doesn't really care about working with me or collaborating with me. So it looks like in the present moment, a lot of you are starting to make plans to move into a new direction on your own. Okay. There's something here about moving into a new direction on your own because there's a conflict. And like I said, a lot of you are not going to resonate with this. Some of you who don't need the reading, if your life is perfect, then you don't need the reading. Um, but somebody here is in conflict. Okay. About a new beginning or a new opportunity that is coming in. You and this person don't see eye to eye. So a lot of you may make the decision in the present moment to completely move into a new direction on your own. Tell me more about the eight of pentacles. There's something here connected to your work in the present moment. You have the hangman, you have the three of cups and you have the 10 of swords. So in the present moment, um, some of you are reconciling with someone in the present moment and it's just leading to conflict. There is a potential here for things to come to an end, for things to completely close out between you and this person, um, especially because the hangman is here. There's work that needs to be done, but somebody here is not taking action. So there's a lot of promises in the present moment. Oh, we're going to do this. Oh, we're going to do that. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. But then when it comes time to actually take action, there's a conflict. It's because you and this person don't see eye to eye. And it's very much connected to some trauma that happened in the past that you either said to the past person, you know, I don't want to deal with you. I'm going to just find someone new. And then you find someone new and the same issues that you had with someone from the past crop up again, because it has nothing to do with the person. It has everything to do with you learning and growing. Okay. So in the near future, your intuition is very high here. This is about you making some sort of decision about whether or not you want to still give to the situation. Because again, power struggles are showing up just like they did in the past. Tell me more about the five of swords in the near future for Gemini. You have the moon, you have the 10 of pentacles and you have the two of wands. So it's very clear to me that for many of you right now in the near future, I do see a separation. Okay. The reason why the separation is happening is because somebody here is hiding money or somebody here is just interested in money secretly. And it, it, it becomes obvious something here becomes obvious because again, I feel, you know, as much as you want to collaborate with this person, there's a reason why some sort of collaboration isn't happening. 
money is really important in the near future and you may be giving money to a, to a person or they may be giving you money. Reading could be um, vice versa. There's something here about fish or fish sticks in the near future, or maybe this resonates with you in some sort of way. There's something here about fish, fish sticks. Um, there's something here about fish, okay? So in the near future, I see a decision or a choice that needs to be made about whether or not you wanna continue collaborating with a specific person. There's a lot of things that are hidden here, especially connected to money. This is why a lot of you are being called in the near future to listen to your intuition. What is the important message here for Gemini coming from their intuition in the near future about this collaboration, about working with this person in the near future? You have the justice, the wheel of fortune, and you have the queen of swords. So I feel for many of you in the near future, there is gonna be an opportunity for you to get clear on things and to resolve things. So there's a huge opportunity here um, to fix things. So even though things seem a little bit crazy in the present moment. This is about you getting clear on something and, and letting this person know, look, this is your role in whatever we're working in. This is, you know, what needs to happen because, and this is what I've been getting for a lot of signs. It's not only you, I've been getting a lot of this energy of needing to get clear on things. Why? Because now the planets are moving and changing in the solar system in, in astrology. So there's a lot of shifts that are happening and people are still living the way that maybe we lived two months ago or three months ago and things are changing. So in the your future, I see you putting your foot down and I see you saying, look, this is how we're going to do things. I'm willing to give you this, but this is what you need to do. Um, and again, I feel very strongly here that this is connected to your work situation. If you get clear on things and you put your foot down and you start creating some sort of path here in the near future, which is what I see you doing. It's going to lead to tons of success and tons of abundance for you. And like I said, this has a lot to do with the amount of money or energy you're giving to something and making sure that it's also working in your favor because the nine of cups is here in reverse, which means a lot of you are not satisfied with something. Okay. It's like, you're going back to a very similar situation that happened in the past because there's a lesson to be learned here. And I think the biggest lesson for you here that you're learning Gemini is not to be afraid to, uh, set the tone for your relationships instead of just allowing them to just flow in any way, shape or form that, that they do. Right. This is about you recognizing what you want. And, you know, if you're with somebody or dealing with someone who doesn't see your vision or doesn't want what you want, that's why a separation ends up happening. Okay. So let's get some advice. You have the strength, the six of wands and the ace of wands. Yes. So this is about you finding the inner strength to have a new beginning on your own. You don't need anybody. Okay. Even though you feel like you want to, a lot of you are seeking people out or you're trying to you know, find somebody to collaborate with. This is about you working on yourself. And this is about you having your new beginning and focusing on your success and finding the inner strength. And guess what? When you start doing that, everybody wants to collaborate with you. Everybody wants to be with you because they see that you're working on yourself and you're moving towards success, right? So for many of you, your biggest challenge here is to go within work on the trauma that, you know, has been affecting you. Don't feel like you need to go outside and seek somebody to help you with that. I mean, some of you may feel like you need help, but spirit is saying you have the energy within you. And when you finally tap into that energy, when you finally recognize the strength that you have within yourself, which is the strength card, by the way, the sun is going to be entering into your sign. I believe it already has. I think we're already in Gemini season, which means you're even more powerful over the next 30 days because the sun, whenever it's in your sign or transiting your sign, you instantly have a boost of energy. Okay. That's Leo energy and Leo's let's not get started with Leo, Leo energy, but, um, Leo's are very, very powerful when it comes to, you know, starting new things, doing things on their own. This is about you becoming create, um, courageous. And I'm not saying you can't collaborate with people, go ahead and collaborate with them, but it's better when you work on yourself and you focus on your new beginning and you create something for yourself so that people see that and they come towards you and they listen to you more and they care more about your vision. Okay. When you just start something with someone and you don't believe that you can do it for yourself, well, that creates delays and it creates power struggles and it creates problems and then it creates trust issues. So this is about you starting something new on your own and believing that you have the strength within yourself to do that, which is ultimately going to lead to the success that you're looking for. Okay. So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.